Kira, hello. Titney, hello. Mama Four Boys, hello. I don't know if I've seen you before, Mama Four Boys. Hey, Chibi. Hey, Courage. Hey, Beans. Hey, shh. As the seasons change, my level will change. Aw, oh, thanks. Shh. Hey, J Dot. Silver Rose. Jeez. Music is maybe a little bit louder than I need it to be. Uh, right, Silver Roses, uh, Stacy, Titney, Shiara, Gamer Girl, Hermit, Dolly, Strawberry Punch, Enchanted Roses, Courage, been here a few times. Love music. It is pretty chill music. Hermit's a Frog, welcome. Welcome to the memberships. Hey, Uncle Buck's Quarter. Rats on yanking the Holy Trinity. Thanks. Uh, had leftover Thanksgiving sides. Cool. Uh, hey, Jenny. Hey, Amy Pardue. Hey, Color Purple. Hey, Ariel. Uh, hey, Ghoul. Uh, Nathan for you. I've never watched Nathan for you. Uh, hey, Anna Tizzy. Uh, now, excuse me all just a moment. Gotta monetize the video and uh, drinking hot chocolate. Cool. Hey, Amanda. Hey, Golden Girl. Self-harm? Nah. Nah, self-harm's never really uh, appealed to me. I'm not a fan of pain. I'm not a fan of pain, so self-harm? Pass. Uh, make that money? Yep. Volume's a pretty good, uh, pretty good volume now, right? The music gets pretty good volume now, right? Or should I turn it down a little bit more? Is volume good, or should I turn it down just a bit more? Hey, NASA Jen. And yeah, uh, this game... Being extremely woke, this game does come with some content warnings. Uh, Amy Pardue, I haven't. Uh, I'm just gonna put some uh, chicken finger, or yeah, just gonna put some chicken strips in the uh, oven at once. I'm uh, once I'm done here. You remember now? Thank, welcome, Nessa Chen. Women over 60s causing drama. I mean, at that point, it's about all you've got left, right? How are the cats? Uh, Casey's in her hut. Uh, Sam, whenever I, uh, I took a shower and, uh, that meant Sam came in and jumped up on the, uh, on the sink. Hey, Line. How's life treating me? Yeah, seems as usual. Alright, this actually seems better. This actually seems like a really good uh, volume. Uh, so. Hey, one Empress. Bonus of being a member. 
Uh, name is green and you get a badge. Dolly, that's, a, that's it so far. Hey, positive gal. Gonna be talking? Uh, no, it's I will be talking, Uncle Buck. Uh, so yeah, so... Content warnings, so there's alcohol in a few of them, drugs in quite a few of them, massage noir, conspiracy theories. Cats are having a great time. Yeah, they're okay. Possible homophobia and ableist language. Oh, partial nudity. Ooh, partial nudity. Hey, Cheryl, welcome. Not safe for work. Alcohol homophobia? Uh, body image, ableist language, harassment, suicide mention, so there's something to bear in mind. Mentions of sexual assault, so there's something to bear in mind. Emetophobia. Uh, Kira? Uh, I think so? I'm not sure if I saw it. Comic book? Yeah, yeah, it's, like, I joke about them being, uh, Hold on, I, I want to know what emetophobia is real quick. I joked about it being, uh, about them being woke, but yeah, I mean, it's... Phobia of vomiting. Okay. How many members do I have now? Uh, 171, I think now. Fear of vomit. I just find it gross. Uh, yeah, then misgendering, secondhand embarrassment, embarrassment, masturbation. Masturbation is a content warning. Uh, divorce, controlling behavior, cheating, anxiety attacks, domestic dispute. So. Oh, no, Seal, it is, uh, it is a game. So, yeah. There's a list of content warnings, so. Um, most of them, I, most of them I don't think really apply for people here. Um... This one, I think, will probably be the one that's most likely to, to hit people with the suicide mention and mentions of sexual assault. So, uh, what's for dinner? I'm, uh, once I'm done here, I'm just going to throw some uh, chicken strips in the oven. So... Uh, hey, backrooms. So if any of those are things that bug you, then, you know. Do I think OCD people have the most phobias? Uh, I have no idea. And should show the uh, credits. Just uh, real quick, show off the uh, the credits. <laughs> Kevin Killjoy, <laughs> Chris Kindred. Is he a comic guy? Uh, Anunnaki? No, it is not horror. It is a. I mean, it's a dating game. It's about dating. I feel like I know the name Chris Kindred. Hey, Tiff. Hey, Jojo. Sport Indie Games, yep. Yeah, this was uh, one that I backed on Kickstarter. 
Uh, it just came out uh, a couple months ago. Uh, September, I think. End of September, I believe. Not the new God of War, no. Going back to my Star Wars, Star Trek movie marathon. Enjoy a game. Yay, Star Trek! There are... One, two, three, four... Four really good Star Trek movies. Um... Maybe one, uh, two pretty okay Star Trek movies. The rest are garbage. Dating game, good luck. I know. That could be considered horror. Fair enough, Anunnaki. Triggered already, gotta go. Watched It's a Wonderful Life yesterday. I have never watched that movie. Hey, Triggers. Never watched It's a Wonderful Life, and honestly, I doubt I'll ever bother. Shroom Baby, welcome. <laughs> Special thanks, Kevin's mom. <laughs> Do you know how, uh, roughly how long this game is? Uh, no idea, Brooke. I honestly don't know. Uh, your birthday's on Tuesday. Oh! Happy birthday, Swampy! But I'm not doing a cheeball. I can't do a cheeball. Game Devs of Color Expo. Um, cause yes, uh, hey Elise. Uh, hey Faith. A lot of the, uh, people involved in making this game are people of color. So a fair number of them are uh, people of color. And queer, of course. Never done shrooms. You like classic movies? They don't generally do much for me. Hey, Habibi. All right, there we go. And sure, controls help. Oh, okay, you can pause. That's, that's actually good to know that you can pause. Making an appearance to show my show your support for the redemption arc. What is this, Tinder? It is a dating game. Drugs have I taken? Uh, I haven't really taken any drugs. With real people? No. No, uh, hey, baby, it's, it's a game. It's a video game. So, masculine was a great time. All right, fifteen minutes. Not even weed. I've tried weed. Uh, I failed. I failed at weed. When was my last relationship? Uh, two thousand thirteen. She broke up with me uh, by text over Christmas break uh, in 2013. Took shrooms once and started at an 11.10 and turned into a 0.10 by the end of the night. Alright, so yeah, 15 minutes, so uh, time to get started. It's a game about dating, explain how this works. I mean, you'll see how it's available. Hey, Kermit. And 
and I think most of the text does end up being on the bottom re uh, left or on the bottom. So I think people are usually able to learn humility without needing to lose everything first. Uh... <laughs> All right. Hey everybody, welcome. Come on. Come on, Casey. Casey's up here to make it awkward for me. Start date. Malik Patterson, manager at Bop Eyes. Uh, men stay in touch with the girls they never should have cheated on and get mad when they file a restraining order. Trash ass mixtape, kill your producer. E him. Ghanian. I'm actually not sure what uh, that is. Uh, 26. Not totally sure what that symbol means. Don't have these to unlock yet. Inaya Saifi. I should have looked up how these names are pronounced. Inaya. Inaya. Inaya, I'm guessing. I tend to your animal. Okay, Chibi. Uh, food scientist. Original croissant dropper. Stim blogger during the height of 2014 Bumbler. They say blocking is the best way to win an argument, but that's just coward stuff. Just realizing you can't actually see their faces. So here's Malik. This is Malik. Hey everybody, you're doing an awesome job. Thank you very much. Uh, hey everybody. Inaya is an Aries. Aries. Is that what the? Is that what this symbol is? Is uh, that for Aries or? Oh, and that's Virgo, right? Or, or is that Aries? Oh yeah, that's Aries. The other one's Sagittarius. Okay. Uh, Pakistani. Twenty-five. Pick a Libra. Right now, we only have access to these two. There are other characters. There are two other characters that we will get to play. But right now we've only got the uh, the two. Okay, so this is Aries and that's... This is Sagittarius, somebody said. I mean, yeah. That's who I was going to go with, uh, at least. I was gonna go with uh, with this lady, this pretty lady. Oh, she they. Oh, and uh, she they. Um, hey, DG. So yeah, she they. Uh, pronouns. That's the word pronouns. Hey, Lisa B. So, I'm going with the, I'm going with the food scientist. Hairy lady just like me. Might be tough figuring out the best place to put my camera during this, uh, this whole thing. Meeting Inaya. Written by Rami Blackwood. Content warnings, body image. Hey, Power. Welcome back to Naya's Noms, a cooking show that is a lot less cute than the title might suggest. We're slaves to the algorithm here, boys and girls. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, you've heard of this game? 
today we're going to be making a basic ass tomato sauce. You can you can stay in my lap if you stay up here. Uh, because some of the questions I got after last week's penne a la vodka were absolutely ungodly. We really have to work our way from square one here. But before we do anything, I want to draw your attention to this. Uh, the overhead light in your kitchen sends streaks of sweat running down between your shoulder blades. You gotta wrap this one up fast. You point the finger at the corner of your mouth with a flourish. Your hands smell like rosemary and tap water. Just saw date. Oh, sorry, kill face. So yeah, just uh, showing off uh, more of the screen here. Uh, Swampy, that is uh, one of those words is offensive. One of those words he used was offensive. Do not use that word, Swampy. Uh, hey, Sophie King. What is this game? It's a dating, it's a dating simulator, Amna. Casey's being weirdly annoying right now. Flying around like an alien spaceship. I know. I'm trying to show as much of the screen as I can because it's like, you know, you got the heart over here, you got the... This thing over here, you got her little... So yeah, like this one's set up like a... Supposed to be set up like a... No, not that one, Swampy. You know which word I found offensive, Swampy. Uh, hey, Emeralds, guys. Hey, Lauren. Better now. She's being... She's being really annoying and, like, wandering around and... Uh, anyways, so yeah. I'm trying to find a place where I won't be blocking off anything interesting on the screen. This. This strange and alien marking on my face. It is a zit. It is, admittedly, nasty. But it's not cancerous. It's not herpes. If I see one smug motherfucker in the comments calling it herpes, I swear to god. I just thought I'd draw attention to it before any of you jokers got any ideas. Hey, Emeralds guys. Hey, 12 Little Paws. Uh, taking a break from repeatedly dying in my video game to watch a more calm video game with no RIPs. I think anyway. Yeah, pretty sure you can't die. If I die in this game, then I screwed up something serious. <laughs> Moving on. People keep telling me the penne a la vodka is bland. I got some of the same shit on my chili, res chili recipe a couple months ago, too. Higurashi, I've never heard of that one. Listen, this is basic. Sometimes I forget that all of you are like tiny babies who need your hands held all the way through. Don't choke on your pacifiers while I chop this garlic. game is permadeath. This is a new video game? Yes, it is, Emerald. You wince internally. That might have been a little much. Your brand is a reverent scorn, definitely. But you should have saved that one to run past Alex. He's your test audience of bitches who have never cooked a thing in their lives. Hi, it's me! Bitches who have never cooked a thing. <laughs> Until very recently. And I as sassy she is. You've got to bloom spices with heat, okay? That's how you bring out the flavor. That's why garlic always goes in first. It's going to taste like shit if you don't activate it. Cooking is 100% chemistry. I know I say that constantly, but it's true. You glance at the page views. Ugh, that's about half as many as you got for your last video. You don't usually check analytics while you're live. You're not a complete amateur. 
but you really aren't feeling it today. Hence that low-hanging fruit uh, herpes joke. True, you do have a nasty zit by your mouth. And true, some asshole is absolutely going to comment on it. But it would probably have been better to just cover it up with makeup. Whatever. It's over now. No point in agonizing over it. You'll burn yourself. You settle into autopilot, chopping and sautéing and talking the whole time. You could make this tomato sauce in your sleep. You've done it so many times. Throughout undergrad, you mostly lived on pasta and eggs. This game is too realistic. I know! Not together. Well, sometimes together. You keep up a steady stream of bullshit through the video, babbling about the weather, the pair of running shoes you busted open the other day, and that last terrible Star Wars movie. <laughs> What's the point of the game? It's a dating game, Faith. The point is to... F the point is to help your character find love. And it's a story. People always want to know your opinions on media. Or they think they do, until they actually hear them. Then they often want to return to blissful ignorance. Uh, yeah. Uh, what do you do? You read, Faith. You read. Since she's Pakistani, when will she be making chaplain kebabs and Pakistani food? Where's all the chutneys? She's keeping it basic for her viewers. Ready for the cook stream tomorrow? Yeah, I'll need to, uh... I'll need to, uh... Get meatloaf pans tomorrow and... Potatoes. Need potatoes. Room. Your opinions are great. The public are just weak and foolish. They will never survive the winter. You succumb to another moment of weakness and glance at the chat. Toxic sucks. Pluck your eyebrows. OMG, I thought I was the only one thinking that. I feared I was being rude, but she needs to. Don't be rude, Toxic Socks and Mama Bear 3. The light above might as well be the sun beating down on your back. Sweat drips into your eyes. This is the hottest summer on record. Why are you cooking over an even hotter stove? Idiotic. Where'd you... Uh, we don't have any, Is that? Uh, like, we always... Like, Chantal always, uh, just got, like, the, uh... Like, those tin ones? Those aluminum, uh, meatloaf tins? Toxic socks. She would be she would be so cute if she tried. Lol. Thanks, Lisa. You toss the pasta into the boiling water. It hisses and spits, burning the back of your hand. You want to hiss back, but you hide it from the camera. Elden Ring DLC is weird, apparently. Isn't Elden Ring weird? You finish up the pasta and end the live stream, phoning it in toward the end there. Who cares? Hardly anybody was watching this one. Disco Elysium? Nah. Uh, it's just been too hot to put any effort into anything. You'd signed off with a, next week, ice cream. Or maybe just ice hold the cream. I'm gonna crawl into the fucking freezer and you all can come and find my body. Peace. What will I be making with the meatloaf? Potatoes, uh, Suzanne. Some potatoes. Trivial Pursuit? Yeah, uh... I'll try to do Trivial Pursuit stream soon, uh, Mix. Or at least a trivia stream. You taste the sauce. Ugh. Terrible. Nothing you make in your lives is ever edible. It's wild. Even if you follow every step perfectly, exactly how you would do it on your own, it never turns out right. Something about the pressure of fame sours everything. 
He slam dunked the whole thing right in the garbage. Higurashi? I will uh, try to look into it. That cut dark. Oh, uh, good night, Sofa. Your phone is blowing up when you finally get back to it. You keep it on silent through a recording, unless there's a specific bit you want to do, checking up on world news or reading an embarrassing reply. You have a wall of Insta Instaglam notifs, a couple bitter followers follows, and, of course, Alex has notes for you. Wow, you were really on your bullshit today. Thanks, Alex. Alex Reza, Reza, tech bro job. Inaya's manager and professional best friend. So there's Alex here. He's a pretty cute guy. Thanks, I try. That wasn't a compliment. I know, I'm just all out of juice. I don't have a single comeback in me. Uh, no one texting me, Killface. It's so fucking hot in here. Turn on your AC, idiot. No, I will not. It's expensive, and I am ethically opposed to it. One person running their AC occasionally is not going to make a difference in global climate change, I swear to you. Ship Alex and Anaya. Uh, we'll see, Mix. Their best friend. Professional best friend sounds like a therapist. Uh, best friends do often end up falling into that. Uh, Nancy, why did you make your membership uh, so cheap? You could have juiced all these people for five million. Because I'm not really giving anything for memberships. I'm not. Give, there's no benefits to it. So. Uh, oh, hey, Harlem. Okay. Oh, it's actually possible that uh, Alex might be a they. It barely even works. It's just a window module. Better than nothing. You need a new one. It's not like you can't afford it. I'll consider it. No, Rick. Everyone in this game is of age. Most of them are in their 20s. Most, most of the characters in this game are in their 20s. Where's the link? Uh, for my memberships? I'm actually not sure how to pin things uh, here, so. I'll post uh, the link an uh, another time. I'm not going to bother posting the link in this one. Uh, Marion Bays. Congratulations on your gift sub, Marion. Do you want to a link? Uh, Canadian Timbits. Uh... I'll probably post the link, uh, I'll post it tomorrow. I'll post it in the chat tomorrow. Uh, you won't though. Not a chance. And if you try to explain why, Alex will just call you an edgelord. Which, okay, maybe you are, but that's beside the point. Just, the idea of turning on the AC when it's not necessary just absolutely disgusts you. Just like taking an elevator when the stairs work just as well. That's why you'd never buy pre-shredded cheese when it's perfectly acceptable to just shred your own. You aren't a Luddite. Obviously, technology doesn't scare you. You're an Instagram influencer. You just have some lines in the sand. I'll let you know when I'm done going through the comments. I won't be able to get to it tonight before tonight. I've got a deadline. Sometime someone's sick, so I need to write a feature. Uh, it's fine. I, it's fine. I can go through them myself. No fucking way. Megan. Hello, Megan. We talked about this, and that is one of the things you are not going to do. 
You signed that contract. He's right. You did sign it. They are the worst. Fine. Ooh, this is this is very pretty. Oh, I was on the top. I was just blocking what's his name's face. Oops. This is some uh, pretty art. Katawa Shoujo makes me cry. Hanako, best girl. Katawa Shoujo, good dating game. You know what dating game... You know what dating sim I actually kind of want to give a try? There's a dating sim called Kaichu. It's about dating giant... It's about uh, giant monsters dating. Power... It's not a relationship contract. Love these girls. Yeah, I like the colors in this. Uh, or it's, no, it's not a dating contract. It's like for the channel, basically. Ooh. Nice room. You type out the answer and toss the phone down on the couch. You toss yourself down after it and then struggle out of your clothes as much as you can, letting your overalls hang loose. Hang down loose. Elevator jams to study too. Hey, Pete Roses. Do you all meet up in first period to show off your sick comments you made over Thanksgiving break? Hatoful boyfriend? I've heard of Hatoful boyfriend and it sounds wild, but. Hey, Barbara. our lives and gaming days. Mm. The overhead fan needs to be turned off while you're filming, but you slap it back on, sighing as it cools the damp patches on your neck and forehead. Uh, Nine Foot Ninja Cat, welcome. Gia, it is not porn. It's not even porn. Uh, you raise your he uh, arms over your head so it can get your pits. You need to clean up. The kitchen and yourself. You don't remember the last time you washed your hair. Uh, Zed, welcome. Initially, working from home had been such a tempting prospect, and you'd been absolutely certain that you weren't going to turn out to be one of those suckers who needs a rigid capitalist structure to keep them on task. Well. <laughs> Um, you know, I'm feeling vaguely attacked. I'm just saying, I am feeling just a little bit attacked right now. And, uh, what's that, fra what's that phrasing? I am 30 or 40 years old and I do not and I don't need this. And generally you don't. You're just pretty bad at showering if you aren't going to see another human. <laughs> Stop being mean to me. Combination of the heat, your bad mood, and the unappealing prospect of washing the dishes sends you into an unsettled doze. And when you wake up, you're actually even sweatier than before. The nap was long enough for you to feel like your soul has left your body, but not enough for you to feel it all rested. Yeah, I hate that. Yeah. The game! The game is attacking me! You're struck with a very clear memory of a time in your childhood when you'd been at home with a fever, sleeping all through the day, waking up to the non-committal gray light of either evening or very early morning. You ask your younger sister, who shared your room, if it was today or tomorrow, and she, comically stricken in a way only the very young can be, responded, I don't know. Your phone vibrates again, and you realize what you woke, uh, what woke you up. 
You fumble it upright and accept the call before you even really take the time to think about it. Hi, Sam! Uh, if you'd been more awake, you would have let it go to voicemail. She should wash the dishes in the shower. Clever. Oh, oh good night, Ella, Louis. Ella Lewis. over here might be okay. Hi, Mom. Ayane Saithi. Saithi. Scheduler and I as Mom. Why is everything purple? Because yeah. it's a nice color. Purple's a nice color. Uh, nine foot ninja cat holy shit install a higher pay membership james shoot for the 499 thank you so much uh ninja cat uh hurts in the chat for ninja cat cats in the chat for ninja cat throw some, let's throw either feet or cats in the chat for uh for ninja cat His boss music playing. Mom. It's the mom. The mom's obviously a boss. Naya, are you sleeping? Oh, yeah. Ninjas also work. Ninjas work for, uh... Ninjas work for Ninja Cat as well. I think it's music that was composed specifically for the game. It's too early to sleep. Aren't you going out? It's Friday. I hear the mom fight is like Psycho Mantis. I wasn't sleeping. You struggle upright and grope around for your laptop to check the time. And knowing that your only time-telling device is currently being utilized for communication. Even on a call, you can check the time. Do more tears. Uh, maybe another time. Email version of me, smash or pass. Honestly, Gia, I'd smash. Understand? I would smash. Top left is best. It depends the power because top left, I'm blocking off some of her face. Incredibly insensitive of your mom to insist on calling you like it's 2005, but she hates texting. You kind of hate it too, it's just the only way to keep in contact with anyone. How's work? I haven't watched your last few videos, I wish your audience didn't swear so much. You swear? Yes, but I don't swear at my daughter, do I? Assholes are just part of the business. And I don't go through the comments anymore. I hired someone to do that for me. So I don't care what they say. You pay someone for that? A friend. He needs to work. That's nice of you. Is he in school? Uh, yes, uh... I mean... I'm, uh... Once we start getting choices, yes. I, I'm not sure if you even... I don't even know if there are choices in this game. I have no idea. 
Yes, I'm pretty sure there are choices. So, once you get to a point where you start making choices, yes, you're making choices for Inaya. Why do you care? Well, he doesn't want to be a professional comment checker forever, does he? He's in the same culinary program I was in. And he's got his own parents to get it on his ass. You're right, it's none of my business. Point taken. Uh, Bangladeshi, Pakistani, Gia. Uh, she is Pakistani. Mom theme is very street. Yep. Don't fuck with moms, I think, is the message here. That wasn't... You squeeze your eyes shut. You're too exhausted to fight about nothing. Did you call for something specific? I was just about to take a shower. Oh, I was just going through the dire situation in my closet. I haven't cleaned it out in almost a decade, can you believe it? Your father always gets so annoyed when I move things around. I was wondering if you'd like me to send you anything before I donate, to, donate it to charity. My things are so nice, but I'm a little too old for them. You mean like dresses? I don't think any of them would fit me. You're skinnier than you were the last... Oh, whoops. You're skinnier than, the, than you were the last time I saw you, though, aren't you? I've been keeping an eye on Headbook. <laughs> this conversation needs to be over. I don't think... Just send me pictures, I'll take a look. Uh, why swallow when you can spit into the releaser's mouth? That's what God wanted. Sounds fair to me, Gia, honestly. She isn't going to let it go. Better to just let her send you some stuff and then throw it in the back of the closet. Spit out my coffee. Uh, you hang up before your mom can get going on another long winded explanation of exactly why it's so important that you take all of her old shit. She's got a bunch of traditional clothes that you've never seen her wear, but insists on keeping, like a little piece of Pakistan wrapped up carefully and set under glass. You hope she doesn't want you to take any of it. You lay back down on the couch, on the opposite end to avoid your sweat mark, staring up at the ceiling fan until you feel yourself start to go cross-eyed. You pick up your phone. You've got a new message. Want me to know about all your skills? Okay, I'm going through the comments. Wow, I know I say I'm a prison abolitionist. Uh, wow, I know I say I'm a prison abolitionist, but my god, I want to send your simps to jail. <laughs> Let's go out. What? I thought you wanted me to do this as fast as possible. Fuck that, actually. That was a decision that passed and I made. And past Denaya is an idiot. Present Denaya is smart and wants a beer. Well, hell, okay. If you're driving. Can't stand the heat. Achievement! I just got an achievement. Woo! Why does she dress like Bob the Builder? Because she's fashionable, Amna. Anyway, I think it's more like Mario. Now I'm just showing off. 
She looks like a good time. She can toss you around. Yep. Yeah, it looks like now we're getting to the uh, to the dating. Yolanda, twenty eight. She was Bob the Builder. She could fix her shit life. Ouch, Mix. Thick alert. Yep. Yolanda Thick. Do I hear the cat? Thought I heard the cat. Anyway, so yeah, let's go on a date with Yolanda. Now that we can. Her arms are so strong, she'd choke us out no problem. Struggling single, I am Yolanda. Yolanda is Korea? Uh, don't know yet. She looks African to me. Uh, written by Remy Butler. Drugs and ableist language. Uh, mix? No. And I is 25. Hold on. Give me a second. I hear a cat. Give me a minute again. Give me a minute. Sorry about that. I heard uh, I heard Sham meowing, so I want to go uh, check on him. We can't go for the first single. Yeah, we can, kill face. Let's worry about getting some prescription strength antiperspirant instead of dating. Reading about this game a few years ago, Todd. I mean, it only came out two months ago, Power. It only came out in September. Yolanda Grandma vibes. Ableist language, what's that? At one point in development, she is stayed to be Korean. Okay. I mean, she could still be. I don't know. We haven't really... Uh, it hasn't said yet. Alex pulls up to your door exactly on time, down to the minute. He always honks when he arrives, instead of texting like a normal person. Whoops. You're waiting for him by the door, but you keep scrolling through bitter for another 30 seconds to indicate you dislike being honked at, like you're walking past a construction site in booty shorts. Uh, the cats are doing okay. The sunroof is open on Alex's 2001 Toyota, Toyota Camry. Cigarette smoke gilded blue in the streetlights. It got dark while you were waiting. You guess that makes it a moonroof. Looks like she runs a zine. Hell mix, that's a, honestly? Yeah, it's me, running a zine? That's a positive, that's a plus. Alex leans out of the window, sunglasses pushed up and perched on a blurry mop of silver hair. Wearing your sunglasses at night? Alex pops the lock and you slide into the passenger seat. And no matter where it is, I'm blocking something. Maybe if I shrink myself just a little bit more. 
No, I'm not owned. I'm not owned. I'm not owned. All right. <laughs> I'll bring myself back. Alex still works at Popeyes and raps like a harmful caricature. Where are we going? Bye, Rick. She should throw Alex into the car. And I would crush him. Hey, you plain cheeseburger! It's a surprise. I hate surprises. Oh, I know. He smacks her hand away from the radio. Driver picks the music. Rap is cool, but they take his character to bad places. At first, you think Alex is lost and needs somewhere to idle to pull up directions on his phone. He turns off the car. You look from the sign to Alex and back again. Are you trying to send me subliminal messages? I'm not cutting my hair. Yeah, absolutely. I brought you in for a surprise makeover at 9 on a Friday night. You joke. But you did bring me to, to a salon at 9 on a Friday. Is this a drug deal? Isn't weed legal here? Are we getting meth? Inaya. How does one take meth? Uh. Snort it? Come on. Despite your distaste of makeover montages, you follow Alex out of the car and around the building. The back parking lot is a totally different scene. The salon looks closed, but around back there's an entrance with a wrought iron railing wrapped with fairy lights and a gaggle of people standing around talking and smoking, all of them dressed way cooler than you are. WebMS? This is friendship! She's writing f friendship, or they're writing friendship as bickering. Because, I mean, friendship does mean taking the piss out of each other. The person working the door greets Alex by name, giving you a brief glance before letting you inside. It definitely smells like a salon, hairspray and bleach, but the back room has been turned into a little performance space, complete with makeshift stage and mood lighting. Love Nancy Drew games. Not sure about playing an Nancy Drew game, but I did really, really love the uh, the co the Nancy Drew comic series that uh, Kelly Sue and Jen Saint Ange did. Smoking is not cool. It's really not. I hate smoking. A girl is selling beers out of a cooler in the corner, and a couple guys in roadie black are setting up a sound system. You sit at a small round table and Alex buys you a drink. The place isn't huge, and it's filling up fast. You had no idea something like this was here. You don't go to salons. You haven't cut your hair in years. Power? Every friendship is different. Do a bunch of shops in town have places like this? Is there, like, a fucking cabaret going on in the back of Juan Depot? You really are being weird. I noticed it on the phone. What do you mean? I brought you to what is very clearly a slam poetry event, and you haven't made one snide comment. Clearly you are fake Inaya, and real Inaya is lying knocked out in her apartment. Uh, you must have stolen her overalls. You are absolutely not going to take this from this curly-haired bitch. 
I don't know what I've ever done to give you the impression that I think that I'm too good for slam poetry. When have I ever said that? Don't answer that. Your whole vibe is the vibe of a person who finds slam poetry deeply cringe. I never read any of the Nancy Drew books, only the comic. Slam poetry is deeply cringe. Alex makes a gesture with his beer that says case in point. You rub at your forehead. If you were so convinced that I wouldn't enjoy it, why did you bring me? Alex shrugs. What, you thought I was going to change my Friday night plans just for you? The little smile hovering around the mouth of his beer lets you know he's joking. Dickhead. Just so you know, I'm actually way more cool and open-minded now. Hey, Tihon. What a curly-haired be- Oh yeah? When did this happen? Just now. I decided I'm open to new experiences. And I should body slam Alex. <laughs> I'm doing intense, irrefutable character growth as we speak, and there's no chance I'm ever going to regress into bad habits. Well, that's a relief. Like, for instance, I didn't complain when you bought me a fucking IPA. I'm drinking it, okay? I'm drinking a beer that tastes like a whole ass flower garden in the name of broadening my horizons. Uh, that is disappointing, Power. Uh, the comic book uh, has no fat shaming in it. The comic book version of Nancy Drew is very body positive. And it starts with her hanging from a cliff with a goat. Anyway, the Nancy Drew comic is fantastic. I do actually do really recommend uh, the uh, the Nancy Drew comic book. It's really really fun. The uh, the Hardy Boys show up as well. Yeah, you deserve the Nobel Peace Prize. I was thinking some kind of cultural reward. Or, like, a literature award. Newberry Medal. For great character growth. For drinking bad beer and participating in the corniest public activity known to man. You're a couple words from the end of your manic monologue when the lights go down and conversation cuts off abruptly, leaving you speaking loudly while everyone else goes quiet. Corneas public activity known to man echoes out across the room like a fart in a bathtub. <laughs> Suddenly, every cool person in this salon is looking at you, the asshole, the sloppy bitch in the overhauls and scraggly hair, here to talk shit. You should probably leave now. You should probably melt down into your component parts. A liquid of carbon-based life, uh, carbon-based life form. Yeah, the only situation here is pretend it didn't happen. Alex, the bastard, is holding back laughter. He did this to you on purpose. You don't know how he managed it, but he did. Maybe this is his performance art. Despite the melodrama in your head, people lose interest in you pretty fast. None of them look that mad. What you said could probably be interpreted in a bunch of different ways. You just have anxiety. Kill face. Ah! 
I've seen tons of women call themselves sloppy bitches, Killface. Frankly, I kind of feel like women are more likely to use the phrase sloppy bitch than a guy is. Power? And Naya thought she was going to some shitty bar. Not something fancy. Everyone's focus uh, shifts to the woman coming on stage, and you do not blame them in the least. She's pretty. High cheekbones, big striking eyes, a quiet self-assurance radiating from every motion. She adjusts the mic stand, shakes out her braids, and leans in to speak. Hey everybody! Hope it's going good out there. The light is in my eyes so I can't really see shit, but I'm going to assume it's great. That gets a, a murmuring laugh from the audience. Whoever she is, she's popular. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Yolanda, owner of Dispute Salon and founder of Jersey City Slam, a weekly free evening of poetry and music. If someone charged you a cover fee, sorry, but you got scammed. I like looking cute at the bar. I mean, some people just like, don't really give a shit. They just want to go have some drinks. Like her fish hat. That is a very cute hat. This is actually, that is a really super cute hat. Her style is the coolest, but she's mean. The crowd laughs again. Clearly, this is a running joke that you are not in on. Despite what you said to Alex, you do think it's a little shitty of him to just bring you to a place where he knows everyone and you know no one. Not that you really have that many friends offline. Whatever. Oh, chicken? No, it's a fish hat. This is definitely a fish hat mix. Is she our date? Hopefully. All that talk about character development was just blowing smoke up his ass. But it's probably not a bad idea. You could stand to be a little more open-minded. To that end, you attempt polite focus as applause greets the end of Yolanda's intro and the studio lights darken. It's surprisingly not terrible? Definitely not something you'd come to by yourself, and you're not sure if you'd come back, but the talent level here is high enough that it isn't excruciating. There's a couple singer-songwriter type acts and some decent freestyle rappers, even if the crowd gets too rowdy for you to parse every word. Some of the poetry is good too, if a little dramatic for your taste. Mary Yolanda. Uh, towards the end of the set, the lights go down even further. You're on your second beer, just chilling, when Yolanda gets back up on the stage. The crowd applauds harder for her than they have for anyone else. Hey y'all, I've got a new one for you tonight. Aren't poetry people supposed to snap? Huh? You know, snap your fingers so people can hear the poetry? I don't think anybody actually does that. Power? I mean, it's pretty clear. It's pretty clearly a fish power. So yeah, I guess the, I guess they did. I didn't really pay much attention to the development. Um, like I backed the game on Kickstarter, and then just sort of forgot about it until uh, until it got dropped in uh, September. So like I didn't pay any attention to the uh, to the development. Well, maybe they should. We should start it. You are welcome to snap if you want to. No, we have to snap together if it's just one of us. Shh. Cynthia. Uh, Cynthia, you were gifted a membership. Um... 
So yeah, you don't need to worry, Cynthia. You got a uh, you got a gift membership, so you can't actually pay for a membership until the twenty fifth. <laughs> Sorry, Cynthia. Sorry, Cynthia, but uh, yeah, you uh, you don't get to pay for uh, for a month. Read it about a few years ago. Anyway, yeah, here we go. Hopefully, this one hits and isn't. Her eyes flick briefly in your direction. Corny. Burn. You're back to wanting to sink into the floor. Alex snorts. You elbow him in the shoulder. You need to have a talk about what loving and supporting your socially maladjusted friend actually means. Because it sure as hell isn't this. Uh, color purple? <laughs> I was just meant to say that. Cynthia, if you want to... Yeah. If you want to pass it on, then you can always uh, pass on a gift sub to someone else. It's random who gets uh, who gets the gift memberships, but yeah, if you want to pass along the generosity. But then the lights go down, and Yolanda starts to speak, and it's like flipping a switch. The audience might still be making noise. You have, honestly have no idea. At this point, you could be hit by a 10-foot wave and you wouldn't even notice you were wet. Need Jenna back to give memberships to the people? It's not the words to the poem, though they're pretty good to your amateur ear. Dark shapes moving through a bright day and leaving no shadows, that sort of imagery. Then how to do the gifts? Eh, then don't worry about it then, Cynthia. And it's not the way she looks either, although she looks good. There's something in the way she speaks, a clear intonation to her words, a cadence to her gestures. It's confidence, but it is also the opposite of that, indifference. Inaya doesn't have a wop. You never know. She has something to say, and she is going to say it even if no one is listening. If Yolanda were performing to an empty room, she'd give the same energy, the same calm assurance that her words have value coffee talk don't think I have that one to someone like you ever fidgeting and vamping trying not to look at viewer counts ignoring vicious comments from out of the corner of your eye aware that it's only a matter of time before someone comes along and tears all the success out of your hands and scatters it to the wind it's humbling to say the least Her performance winds down, but she maintains intensity all the way through. When she's finished and the lights come up, you sit in thunderstruck silence as everyone else around you applauds politely. You might manage to put your hands together a couple times. There's no way you've only had two beers. Where's the fucking ABV on this bottle? That was amazing. It comes out breathy and squeezed. You don't think you got any air at all through that entire performance. Beside you, Alex is texting. Hmm? Oh yeah, she's really good. Favorite porn search word, Kira? Lesbian. Were you even watching? What? Yeah. I mean, I've seen this one before. She said it was a new one. Yeah, well, all of her po poems blend together. Wow. I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean, she's doing, like, a themed book of poetry or something. You should ask her about it. Holy shit, you should. It didn't occur to you to go up and talk to her. 
Your everyday interaction with people is through a screen. Only way to show your appreciation is to like, comment, and subscribe. You shouldn't get pissy at Alex for not being moved by Yolanda's performance. You aren't an artist, but you're close enough to understand not everything resonates with everyone who hears. On the other hand, you don't want to be the only asshole who got knocked on the floor by a pretty girl saying a poem in the back of a hair salon. And oh fuck, she's coming over here, isn't she? Hey, Alex, glad you could make it. Wanda, you were fantastic. Alex's phone immediately goes into his pocket when she walks over. He might be a shitty audience member, but he's not a complete dickhead. I liked and subbed and I am commenting. Why are you being so rude about it in your head right now? Alex is cool. He's put up with your bullshit for years. Thanks. I was a little worried about that one, honestly. Didn't think it would vibe with the room. You killed it. Oh, by the way, this is Anaya. I pulled her out of her cave for the night. Hey. She thought you were great. Hi, I thought you were great. <laughs> to be fair, Anna, she's considering herself a bitch for being mad at Alex. Yolanda laughs, looking between the two of you like she's trying to figure you out. That's fine. You're unfigure outable. Hey, thanks. She smiles at you, and you wish you had something else to say, but you know literally nothing about poetry. You can't even fucking remember if it rhymed. Before you can freak, a very tall woman walks up to your seat. Hey, yo-yo, I gotta go. You good? Zira, hairstylist, Yolanda's co-worker. Uh, I guess? Where's Mariah? She left. She needed to get the last bus. Oh, I thought it ran until midnight on Fridays. I got no idea. Maybe I misunderstood her. Just, I gotta get this place put away before tomorrow. I really have to go. Yolanda starts fidgeting with one of her braids. For a moment, you think her fingers are shaking, as if from fear or exhaustion, but her demeanor is so calm you might be mistaken. I've been working for 12 hours, Zira. I know, I know. But my brother's about to get off work, and I'm not going to let him walk home this time of night. She that? Yeah, she's cute. Been less than 10 years, AM. Uh, 2000... Either 2019 or 2020. I don't remember if I took the bus at any point in 2020. I honestly don't remember if I did. Uh, like if early 2020 or anything. Right, right. Of course. Go. I'll figure something out. It might be the beers. You still haven't found the damn ABV. ABV. But you catch a glimpse of Yolanda's mask slipping. It's nothing radical. She just looks tired. Exhausted. She looks the way you do after a full day of live streaming and tearing apart your kitchen. Before you take the time to think about it... Um... I can help you. Huh? Oh fuck, now you have to commit to it. I can help you clean the place up, if you want. Why? You weren't prepared for this question. You were expecting a polite refusal since you are a complete stranger and had only been half serious. Oh, 
Oh, good night, Killface. Hey, Collarbone. Uh, and, uh, Collarbone, the nickname is Slices. You're my Slices. It's a free country, right? It's a free country, right? Uh... I guess? I'm not sure what your point is? I don't have a point, really. Yolanda stares at you a couple seconds before smiling hesitantly. Sure, appreciate it. Come find me when people clear out, okay? I gotta go small talk a little bit more. Hey, Alien Holly. She joins the people milling around the stage, throwing you a brief glance over her shoulder. Hey, I can't stay late enough for you to pick up chicks with your incredible room straightening skills. Or whatever. I got work in the morning. I'll just get an Uber. What? Why are you looking at me like I've got food all over my face? Well, you've got something on your face, but I was ignoring it because you told me to on Instagram. You elbow him. I'm not used to you being impulsive, that's all. Whatever. It's not like I have anything else to do. It's either that or sitting at home and posting. Tracksuit girl was a snack. Yolanda's a cold cheeseburger at 4 a.m. Yolanda is a whole ass meal. You love sitting at home and posting. Well, it's not good for my brain. Don't worry about me. You're not my real dad. You get Alex to leave with a bit more coaxing, and as soon as he's gone, you wish he hadn't. You need the phone charger from his car. You're at 30%. You need a phone to get home tonight. Shit. You are so bad at this whole going out and doing things element of life. Why bother? Cold cheeseburgers at 4am slap when other people are sleeping. I am enjoying peak cheeseburgers. There you go, power, yeah. You put your phone on airplane mode and wait for the place to clear out. You keep waking up your screen and navigating to Bitter before remembering you don't have any signal. It's practically a nervous tick. The boomers are right, you really do be on that phone. Uh, luckily, now that the beers are sold out, people start to leave. And then it's just you and Yolanda in the mood lighting. She's getting cash from the makeshift bar with quick practiced flicks of her fingers, stacking the bills in neat piles. Then she stands over the cash box, head bowed, like she's praying or thinking, or resting her eyes. You get the sudden impulse to part her hair to get a look at the nape of her neck. An intensely creepy thought to have. She straightens up and whatever spell she'd cast is broken. Needs the exercise to cool her off. Clearly. Hey, thanks again for staying. She's back to being politely energetic. She doesn't need to put on her customer service act for you. You livestream. You know what people look like when they're performing. But you don't know her at all. What are you going to say? Relax? No problem. Is there anything specific you want me to do? get married. Can you stack the chairs? Not too high. Three or four in a stack. Got it. Yes, I can definitely do that. You stack chairs. You only knock your elbow into one a couple times, and you only drop one twice. Did two beers do this to you? You are a little old lady. After you're done with the chairs, you sweep and take out the trash. You hate doing chores, but this is way less awful than doing them in your own apartment. Maybe because you weren't the one to make the mess in the first place. Why clean up when you're just going to get everything messy again? Clutter doesn't bother you like it seems to bother most people, 
It drove your mom crazy. Last time I drank two beers, uh, would have been like early 20s. Like very, er very early 20s. Now you about to put Yolanda on a table and go to town. She wishes. Oh, congratulations, Ziggy. Oh, you got the job. Congratulations, Ziggy. When did you start writing poetry? So... When did you start writing poetry? Huh? She looks at you with such a strange expression that you wonder if you've committed some intense poet faux pas. Sorry, I didn't mean to make, like, first date small talk. I was just wondering. I liked your poem a lot. Come on, Anaya. You already said that. Yolanda smiles again, looking slightly relieved, like she was worried you were trying to catch her on a lie. Oh, I don't even really remember. I've been scribbling stuff down since I could write, I think. I used to carry notebooks with me everywhere I went. I mean, I still do that, but I use the Notes app on my phone, too. Have the sprites moved yet? Very little mix. Well, I've never written a poem in my life. I mean... I guess I've written a Roses Are Red, Violets Are Blue type of poem, but that's it. Yolanda shrugs. To be honest, anyone can write poetry. She says it like she's had this conversation before. A lot of people must tell her about their dog shit poetry. What else do you say to a poet? Probably not everyone. Sprung, I have not played Sprung. There are so many people who barely have a personality. Yolanda laughs, one loud ha. I know that's right. Man, I don't mean to be rude or anything. Like, this is a safe space, you know? I don't want people to feel like they can't come here and be their true, authentic selves. But some people's authentic selves are boring. Poetry is a great way to get out feelings. Yolanda, I bet, has a ton of emotional maturity. Probably. She, seem, she seems like it. Yolanda closes the cash box and comes over to hold the dustpan for you. You sweep up a cocktail of dust, bottle caps, and little bits of plastic. We used to get this one girl, pretty young, like 21 or 22, and she'd always show up and just do these crazy long poems about the same dude. He sounded really weird, like he had birds. Way too many birds. Wait, she talked about this guy's birds in her poem? God, yeah. Literally in every piece. Maybe he cheated on her with a toucan. I just noticed her hat... I'm pretty sure her hat changes to match her mood. Yeah, she didn't last that long, but I think about her all the time. Yeah, her hat! Wow, I didn't even notice! That's cute! That's a very cute touch! I love when, uh... I love when comics do that sort of thing. Wherever you are, bird girl, I hope you're doing good. Pour one out for bird girl. Cocktail of dust and bottle caps? What is wrong with birds? There's nothing wrong with birds, but there is an issue when you have too many birds, Ima. The two of you finish the cleanup, and now that you've bonded over making fun of some random girl's terrible poetry, Yolanda has warmed up to you. Not that you think she just super likes mocking people. It's more that complaining can always bring people together. Back in college, the single easiest way to start up a conversation was bitching about the syllabus, the professor, the long distance between buildings on campus. You used to be good at making friends. You're not sure what happened. You kept snatching glances at her while you worked. Not to sound fake deep, but ever since you were a teenager, you've only been attracted to people you were intellectually stimulated by. Ugh, 
You hate hearing how that sounds even in your own brain. Like you're one of those sapiosexual dudes. But it's true. Hey, CSM. Celebrities, sure, you can be attracted to them for their looks or charisma. But in real life, it's always been difficult to connect unless they were interesting. Birds are fascinating. Marvels of physiological engineering. That captures college perfectly. Meet people bitching. I myself love it. Maybe that's not weird. Maybe it's normal. You don't have much basis for comparison. Yolanda isn't your type, but that's because you don't have a type. You have a list of attributes you'd pick and choose from to form a perfect human. Like a Build-A-Bear workshop, but with someone you wanted to date. You mean in a way that doesn't sound like a supervillain, though. The point is, you wouldn't be attracted to Yolanda if you hadn't heard her poem. But you did, so now you are. And now that that door is open, you're catching glimpses of, uh, glimpses of her other good qualities. I'm enjoying it, uh, Comic Brook. You hope she didn't see you looking at her ass. No! Hope that she did see you looking at her ass. You want her to know that you're looking at her ass. Because that way you know... That way she knows that you think she has a nice ass. She's way out of your league. You, with your Instagram cooking show and your unplucked eyebrows, your baggy overalls and unstyled hair. She owns a salon. You're surprised she let you hang around for this long. Do they have sex? Uh, I'm not sure AM. I'm not sure like if it's sort of like implied stuff or if it's off screen or... Which is why when the two of you finish up and she asks if you want to come over to her place, it knocks you out. No problem if not, I just know you mentioned you wanted to charge your phone. And I live basically upstairs. Right, right. She's being polite. Makes sense. Well, you don't need to be home at a reasonable hour. Tomorrow is the weekend and you work at home for yourself, which means it's always the weekend, but more depressing. Damn it, game! <laughs> Why? I don't have eyes on the back of my ass. Say hell yes. Hell yeah, sounds like fun. Oh, look how happy her... Look how happy her fish hat is. Stars in her... Stars in the, the eyes for the fish hat. Each game's so hard. Game's... H games go hard. Yolanda's time park puts, puts night in. Yolanda's apartment is nice and looks about the way you expected it to. You check out the small stack of books on the side table while Yolanda goes into her room to grab her phone charger. It's all poetry books. Alice Walker, June Jordan, Jupiter Hammond. Maya Angelou is the only one with a name you recognize, though you haven't actually ever read anything by her. She was just in the water with uh, she was just in the water through a lot of undergrad. Yolanda comes back in with a charger and a little baggie. You smoke? Not really. I used to, but I'm not actually that good at it. I suck at inhaling. I couldn't, uh, I, I didn't inhale. The times that I tried smoking weed, I didn't inhale. An aquarium to match, match your hat? Yep. Laughed a little. Yeah, yeah, power. <sighs> it also makes you paranoid. But you don't really want to talk about that. I got edibles, actually. I don't smoke much either. Or at least I try not to. Okay. You say it before you can talk yourself out of it. Honestly, the paranoia usually isn't that bad. And it's not like you're going to do much damage here. 
Usually when you get paranoid, half of it comes from doom scrolling. Inaya only smokes meth? No, no, Gia. She snorts meth. Inaya snorts meth. A little bit out of it. Eat half the gummy. You eat the gummies she offers you and sit down on the couch. It's a way nicer couch than yours, and you doubt anyone has spent all day on it lying around sweatily. Yolanda puts on some music, something cool and trippy that you're neither cool nor trippy enough to recognize. She sits down next to you and notices you looking at her stack of books. I promise you I read them. They're not just there to make me look smart. Eh. Fish hat has a blush. Eat the whole gummy? No, I want my character to be... There is no eat all the gummy. I want my character to be, like, reasonably stable. Sleepy pee? Uh, sleepy yawn? Yep. Always a yawn. Always sleepy. I mean, you do. Huh? Look smart, I mean. Yolanda laughs. Oh, heh. Thanks. So do you? Hey, thanks. That's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. Well, the nicest thing anyone has said to me today. Yolanda snorts and opens a can of La Croix. Oh, do you want one? Just people make fun of me for drinking it, so I always forget to offer. I'm good. I think La Croix tastes like a vague suggestion, but you do you. See? Everyone is so mean. Yolanda would drink La Croix. She just really seems like the type. It fits her perfectly. Whatever that type is, you're not actually sure. You wonder vaguely if you are if you are her type, but then you reason that it doesn't actually matter. But, like, of course you're not. You don't really think you're anyone's type. But of course, it doesn't matter. Because you don't care. That's not why you're here. Her... She likes her stupid fish hat, though, Mix. It is awful. It tastes like shit. La Croix is nasty. Fuck, you've just been staring at her like an idiot. Uh, you good? Yeah, I was just thinking, it's actually super easy to make infused seltzer. Like agua fresca? Like... Just sparkling water and fruit. It tastes way better than the stuff you get in cans. Not that there's anything wrong with getting stuff in cans. I should do a show on agua fresca now that I think about it. Now that I'm thinking about it. I'm drinking La Quan right now. A show? Oh, I have an Instagram channel where I do cooking lives. Stuff like that. You pull out your phone and bring up your page. You've got a ton of comments that Alex hasn't managed to go through yet. And a couple DMs, people trying to correct your technique, calling you a bitch, or offering you bad promotional deals. Ooh! She takes her phone and flicks through your gallery. Oh my god, you're that Inaya! Alex has talked about you before. He works for you, doesn't he? Kind of, yeah. He just moderates for me. I'm not, like, his boss or anything. I don't know why I didn't think about it before. I guess I just think of you as Naya, because, you know. Naya's noms. Yeah. The name is stupid. It was just a joke. I didn't expect it to turn into a whole brand. I think it's cute. Flirt. Yeah, that's why I don't like it. Yolanda tips her head to the side, looking at you. You don't like being cute? You shrug. I mean, baby chickens are cute. Little dogs with bows in their hair are cute. Six foot tall Pakistani girls are not cute. Hmm. Sorry, I wasn't trying to, like, fish for compliments or anything. That just came out way too honest there. No, it's okay. Sorry if I said something to upset you. No, you didn't. It's just... I don't know. 
I've had a weird day. Uh, I'm glad to help, Melanie. Yolanda wants the 69, I can tell. Clicks through your gallery. Yolanda tips her head to the side to show that she's listening. I mean, it's actually not been a weird day. It's been a totally normal day. I was stressed out at work, then I went down and hung out with a friend at a social event. That's a normal thing to do, but it's kind of unusual for me. I don't get out much, and I definitely don't go to poetry readings. Because they're corny, you win. Apologize. Sorry about that. I definitely did not mean to yell it across the goddamn room. To your extreme relief, Yolanda is smiling. It's cool. I'm just teasing. Uh, Safari, uh, my favorite squad member for Mass Effect. It depends on the game and depends a little bit on my class. For Mass Effect 1, obviously, Rex. Goes without saying. Um... Black Velvet? Yes, I'm the chick with the glasses. Uh, in Mass Effect 2, favorite squad member to bring on missions is probably Miranda, because of the way... Yeah, actually, it's gotta be Miranda, because she is... She has Overload, she has Warp, and she uh, makes your squad mates better. Uh, Mass Effect 3? Mass Effect 3, maybe Garrus might be my favorite to bring on missions. I know poetry isn't everybody's thing, and it's true a lot of amateur stuff is really fucking bad. I worry that my stuff is bad all the time. What? Are you kidding? You're fantastic! I mean, I know I just said that I don't know anything about poetry, but even I can tell that. Right, I know that I'm good, but also I worry that I just think I am. Like, am I actually just that girl with the bird fucker boyfriend? Like it. Yeah, so those are like, those are like for, like, those are like as far as like on missions. As far as my favorite like squad mates in terms of personality, um, it varies a little bit. My favorite in terms of personality is different. Still Rex in one. <laughs> Always Rex. I think I'm being real deep, but actually I'm just boring everyone with my terrible emotions. Rex? They named four. Legion is objectively best Mass Effect 2 companion. He's good. The problem with Legion is you get him so late. You barely get to use Legion. Like, it's, you barely get to use Legion at all. Because of the way that, like, because of the fact that as soon as you get him, you enter the end game. I understand that. I guess my job never really has me asking that. Because obviously there's people willing to sub and donate, so I know people like my stuff. Legion is an X-Man? Uh, yes, there is an X-Man le named Legion. Went to the Mass Effect 3 game launch just as Commander Shepard. They gave me posters. Nice. Uh, I didn't go to a game launch. I just, sort of, like... I pre-ordered the game and then like I went to pick it up. Like the next the day it came out. Professor Axe's bastard son, yep. And had a bad FX show. I liked the first season of uh, Legion. But then that becomes the whole way I have to tell if I'm doing good, right? Like if the subs go down, I think, well, I'm not as good as I used to be. If that makes sense. It makes sense. 
Blah, blah, blah. Gig economy, blah, blah. Yeah. Yolanda's hand is between the two of you on the couch. Without meaning to, you've inched closer together. Well, okay. This hadn't been the plan, but whatever. Almost without realizing what you're doing, you start tracing your fingers across the back of her hand, appreciating how slender her fingers look beneath yours. Uh, power. You used a word that I find offensive. Sorry, power. Uh, the word, one of the words you just used, I find offensive. I just like the first season. Yolanda Inaya. Wow, you're more stone than you thought you were. See, this is why you don't fuck with edibles. It always feels like nothing, and then like you could communicate with the squirrels that live behind your house. Smoochy smoochy. You kiss her before you can think better of it. She makes a brief noise of surprise before her mouth opens against yours, and she leans into you a little. As you could have predicted, her mouth does not taste like anything, because neither does the quaff. She makes a little sigh, like capitulation, like a shrug, and climbs into your lap. Her hands rest on your shoulders, almost politely. You try to remember why you started to kiss her, why you even pushed the car down this fucking hill when you have no idea where it's going to go. Thanks, Princess Bubblegum. Hey, sweetness. Not that you don't know what you're doing. You've hooked up with girls before. But you can see this trajectory as plain as day. You'll kiss some, maybe mess around, and then what? It'll be awkward. You're going to fuck it up. A perfectly good friendship, and you've gonna ruin it by starting down a road you're not prepared to drive down. Fuck, why do you always do this? Why can't you just have casual sex like a normal fucking person? You put your hands on Yolanda's shoulders, gently pushing her back. Um, are you okay? You bite your lip. God, why did you do that? Hey, um... Your breathing shakes. You're usually so good at talking. Why can you never get anything out in situations like this? Every inch of you thrums with the desire to just throw her off you and run. Wouldn't be the first time. Uh, I have not had casual sex. Hey. She touches your face. Not amorously. The touch is just... comforting. Hey. It's okay. You snort. Because it doesn't feel okay. You wish you hadn't kissed her. You wish you hadn't come here. You wish you hadn't left your fucking apartment. Fuck Alex, this is all his fucking fault. I'm sorry. For what? You look at her, convinced she's making fun of you. You haven't done anything wrong. Unless you did and just haven't told me about it yet. But I don't know you very well. So if you robbed a bank or something, that's fine, I won't snitch. Why did they stop? Because Anaya felt super awkward. Uh, you laugh. It sounds watery, even though you aren't crying. I just shouldn't have done that. I do this thing where, where I think I want something from somebody, and I do. I think. I do want it. But then there's a part of my brain that doesn't want it either. And that part gets wrapped up around all the other parts that do want it. And then it just makes everything into this half-wanting, half-scared mess, and I feel sick. Yolanda doesn't say anything. 
if that makes any sense. I'll be honest, it doesn't. Why is the character unhappy? Uh, cause she's got a fucked up brain. She's got the bad brain stuff. Horror creeps through you. Fuck, you just made it worse. You figured she might be okay with meaningless babbling since she's a poet and all. Not that her poetry was meaningless babbling. At least you aren't saying any of this out loud. You aren't saying anything at all. But that's fine. If you don't want to make out, we don't have to. Your laugh just gets waterier. You probably think I'm a psycho. I think you're stoned and tired and kind of sad. She rolls off you and sits back down next to you on the couch. And I, it's fine. I was only kissing you back because... Because honestly, I'm not very good at saying no to people. She focuses very hard on the lamp across the room. It is a pretty nice lamp. Oh. So you were just being nice to me. You're not sure how that feels. Works. But also better somehow? So I guess what this really means is we're both assholes. Yolanda gives you a swift look that breaks into a startled grin. Yeah, I guess we are. She squeezes your thigh. You are all right, Miss Noms. I fuck with you. Thanks. I fuck with you too. Wow, you really are stoned. And for the record, you don't have to be scared to say no to me. I'll even leave if you want me to. Yolanda shakes her head. You don't need to leave. Like I said, you're good. That can just be a thing where we tried that didn't work. Or that can just be a thing we tried that didn't work. An inexpressible wave of gratitude rolls over you. The realization that Yolanda is, in fact, not some test or quick time event that you have to pass or fail. That she is a person to whom you can explain your thoughts and actions. Not a faceless wall of text or a cold algorithm. I've never had a girl kiss me. I'm by and I'd like that experience. Been a long time since I've had a girl kiss me. Saying no now doesn't mean you have to say no forever. Well, maybe not with Yolanda. You probably burned the sex-having bridge for this situation. But with other people. You don't, in fact, have to make the same mistakes again and again. Like some wind-up toy set on a trajectory of failure. You could meet someone new at any time. Anything could happen. And for now, you'll be happy to chill with a friend. And that's pretty cool. Half a gummy into a new friendship. Achievement unlocked. Hurrah! Show off more of the art there. Just saw a lamp that looked like an anemone. anemone? That would be a cool lamp, actually. Steal this bitch's lamp. CG kissing in an aquarium unlocked. Inaya root with Ashley unlocked. Well, maybe not. Just shy of two hours now. Guessing is easy. Right, your teeth. So they're just friends. Yeah, it looks like just friends. Uh, Ziggy, the first time is exhilarating. When I first came out, it was the scariest, but also most exciting time of my life. This baby is mine. Oh yeah, Ashley. 
I'm down with Ashley here. This game is so gay, I love it. Baking with a straight girl. Ah. Uh, hey, both language and harassment. Like Yolanda doesn't like her that way, or at least she's not comfortable with it that way. Shit, let's do some fishing. I don't know how to do the fishing. I got one! I got a 5.9 pound catfish. Woo! Chibis. Yep. 5.83 pound catfish. I mean, not this one, so. Uh, fishing mini games are the worst. Yeah, it's, uh. Fishing games can be soul. can be kind of yeah catfish apparently reminds me of the fishing in animal crossing all right i think i'm done with the fishing i didn't even realize that was a thing let's wish do locked until beach episode I was actually wanting to do was save. Um. Uh, wait. Wow. Skip to endings? Wild. How do we join the membership? Uh, there should be a membership button, um, available. If it's not there, I don't know what uh, where it is. All right. So two hours. Um, that is uh, good enough for me. I think actually is straight. That seems to be what it is. The it was called baking with a straight girl, which not a promising sign. We'll see, I guess. 
but regardless, we will go on the date with, uh, we will go on a date with Ashley next Saturday. Leaving you? Yep, I am. I'm leaving you forever. I'm kidding, not forever, just for, t just for tonight. I'll be back, uh, tomorrow, Samsara. Went by fast. It did feel faster than whenever I play, uh, Our Life. Like, whenever I play Our Life, that one just seems to always take forever. That one always feels so long. Um, this one didn't feel nearly as long, honestly. You know how to keep an audience? Apparently. This was funny, but get good VNs too. I, I like this one several. I do have other... What other videos? I'll take a look at some of the other visual novels that I do have that I can try other times. Always sometimes monsters. That one seems okay. That one seems interesting. Ambition, a minuet in power. That one seems actually pretty interesting. Best day ever. Could do dead wishes on stream sometime. That one's actually pretty good. Uh, Four horsemen is... Uh, is actually pretty good. I could play that one on stream sometime. And uh, Foretold Affair as well. As well. there are a few others that uh, I could play at some point. Um, someday. Um, so yeah. Uh, I am actually, actually Ziggy, I'm gonna go make myself supper now. Like I said, just throwing some, uh, what's it, some chicken fingers in the oven. So, nothing special for my supper, but I am going to go, uh, go eat now. And, uh, I suppose maybe some fries as well. Steam ID? Uh, maybe some point. Maybe at some point I'll do it. Actually, I don't want to put my Steam ID, because I don't want people to know what games I've played. You know, because they'll show me achievements, and it's like, I don't want people to know I played that game. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Uh, anyway, I'll, I'll be back tomorrow, uh, for, uh, what was it? What was I doing tomorrow? Meatloaf. Be back tomorrow for Meatloaf. Uh, for now, thanks for watching. And uh, have a good night.